Dr. Joe from Full Function Rehab. I'm the sports chiropractor here. Today we're going to be talking about rotator cuff syndrome and the mechanisms and treatment techniques we utilize it here at this office to treat it. So the rotator cuff is a very diverse area of the body. It's encompassed by the actual rotator cuff muscles which come in to attach onto the humerus which is the arm bone. However, there's multiple muscles that do affect the shoulder as well. You have the traps, you have the rhomboid muscles, you have um, the, the middle thoracic paraspinals, cervical paraspinals, the levator scapula, the pecs, the deltoid, the triceps, the biceps. So there's a lot of muscles that affect the shoulder joint. So to go somewhere and just get your rotator cuffs being treated for shoulder pain is really not the best thing. You need the whole shoulder girdle, the whole shoulder complex worked on, as well as the lat muscles here at the side, uh, and sometimes the serratus anterior muscle. To, to focus on to decrease your overall restrictions and uh, lack of motion as well as injury. Okay, so today we're going to utilize different techniques to treat this, uh, this, this patient's shoulder. We're going to use active release technique and we're going to use Graston therapy as well as some joint manipulations for the shoulder joint and the middle back and the scapula which is the shoulder blade. So we're going to be demonstrating all those for you today so you have a better idea of what a sports chiropractor can do for you. Okay, so the first thing we're going to demonstrate is the Graston Technique. So the Graston Technique, they are shiny stainless steel tools, six different shapes with a treatment edge on it. So what we do is we put some cream onto the skin on the areas of the muscle groups that we're working on. And basically we're using the Graston to help um, decrease the muscle restrictions, increase the, the fascial movement, and promote blood flow to the area. So we put a little bit of cream onto the area of the skin. We rub the Graston tool in different directions down the different muscle fibers of the different rotator cuffs, the deltoids, all the different muscle groups that we're working on. So as you can see, the skin gets a little bit red, a little bit irritated. This is normal. It just means that we're starting to promote the blood flow and because of the abrasion of the tool on the skin. So this uh, is not painful to the patient. It all depends on how hard I push or how chronic the problem is. Uh, it, it could be a little painful, but most of the time it's comfortable. So we just go through the motions with the Graston tool. Uh, we can either add some motion of the arm into play, or we're just going along as the patient's nice and comfortable, working onto the different tissues. Okay, so here I am, I'm just grinding out the muscles in the rotator cuff into the tricep, just to start promoting blood flow so that way I can get my hands in there uh, a little bit easier and start healing this patient's shoulder. Okay, so just to skip forward, once that shoulder is nice and warmed up and I've kind of done the whole shoulder complex, now I can start getting in with my hands using the technique active release technique, short form ART. And what that is, it's compression and pressure points on specific muscles while the person's actively moving. And what that's doing, that's causing a hyper stretch right underneath my hand. It's causing you to, it's causing the effect of decreasing the scar tissue, decreasing the adhesions in the muscle allowing fluid motion to occur and uh, to help restore the, the muscle uh, motion. So an example of one is we're going to do uh, the infraspinatus muscle. Okay, We're going to have the patient bend its elbow like this. And we're going to let them know what the position they're going to be in. So they're going to start here, they're going to roll down to there, and they're going to come all the way across. So they're going to do this motion while I put pressure into the rotate cup, rotator cuff muscle. Go ahead. We're going to follow them all the way through. They're going to hold that for about 2-3 seconds and they're going to come back. I'm going to reset, plant my, my thumb or my finger contact where the tension is so that way I can release it and we're going to do that again. Good. Come back. We're going to do one more pass as an example. Perfect. Okay, that's an example of some ART. So we could pick different muscles. Obviously every muscle has a different motion. So we're going to be moving the arm and adding the neck in to different areas to target the different angles of the muscle. Okay, so because this is a demonstration video, that's just an example of what ART could look like. Okay, but that'll be a lot more extensive in just in that one muscle as well as some other muscle groups. Okay, so another component of shoulder issues is that we want to target the thoracic spine. Because if the thoracic spine has a lot of tension into it, it can allow, not allow the shoulder blade of the scapula to have proper motion and traction. So we also want to treat the thoracic spine. Okay, so here we are. We have the patient lying on his stomach. Now I've already examined him, so I already know what area I need to focus on. 
So we're just doing a little bit of palpation, a little bit of motion into the spine, finding the areas that we need to uh, target based on his shoulder complaint, specific on the right side. So we find the area of the spine, check the motion, which joint's not moving properly, and we get the patient to take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. And we put an extra thrust into the spine, having to uh, hear the, the cracking of the spine, increasing the joint motion, and helping to restore the function. The next thing we want to do is target the scapula, starting to get that moving. So we're going to bring the elbow in this position. That shoulder blade is going to pop up a little bit more, and we're going to have the patient relax his arm. And we're going to rotate that shoulder blade, allowing it to relax, to release its tension. And we're just going to move it, stretch it out, get, get its uh, restrictions reduced. Good, so now we're going to have a patient flip over on his back. So there's actually specific adjustments we can do for the shoulder. Is if we find that the shoulder joint itself is adhesed or it's not moving properly in cases like severe rotator cuff syndrome or frozen shoulder. We do different positions, different maneuvers, but one that's really good and works well is a position like this. And we're just putting a backwards thrust into the shoulder to help relax it, relieve its tension, usually in the, in the anterior or posterior capsule. Okay, come on up. So this is an example of some deep tissue work, chiropractic maneuvers to help treat rotator cuff syndrome and basically a lot of other uh, shoulder issues in general. So if you have any questions, please feel free to leave me any comments. Um, we are a sports uh, facility here in Woodbridge, Full Function Rehab and Wellness in Bonn. I want to thank Joe, my patient here for today. He's uh, the anonymous blogger from uh, DumbbellDaddies.com. So if you have any uh, Anything you'd like to say to him as well for being a great patient, follow his blog. He has some good uh, wellness tips and uh, health strategies that he can uh, help you work through as well. Thank you very much.